this is Alex on Pongo Techno Valley Weekly News. Here is the news from the second week of June. NHN collaborates with SKT to stimulate AI semiconductor industry with the support of the Ministry of Science and ICT. NHN has signed a business agreement for mutual cooperation between the provider and client of AI semiconductors for servers. This agreement focused on stimulating the Korean AI semiconductor industry. Now, this signing ceremony was held at the NHN headquarters and attended by the Ministry of Science and ICT, NHN, SKT, Artificial Intelligence Industry Cluster Agency, ETRI, Curiosa AI, Rebellion, KT, Neighbor Cloud, Dualzone, Bijon, and Kakao Enterprise. The participating companies are planning to actively review the demonstration and application of domestic semiconductors in cloud data centers, cooperate in developing customized semiconductors, and establish semiconductor test beds in the Guangzhou AI Integrated Complex. NHN will support the technical demonstration of the AI semiconductor Sapion made by SK Telecom this year by building the NHN consortium together with SK Telecom and the Artificial Intelligence Industry Cluster Agency. Kim Dong-hoon, executive director of NHN's cloud business group said, as Korea's leading cloud and AI operator, NHN will continue to collaborate with various manufacturers in Korea so that the AI accelerators we make can become the second DRAM. Next up, Alphabet Mass Supplies LH Unstructured Data Encryption Solution. Alphabet won the project for the LHY System for 2020 Outstanding Information Protection Solution selected by the Ministry of Science and ICT. Thanks to this, it will be mass supplying Alpha Smart Guard version 3.1 to the Big Data Platform and Service Implementation Project. Alpha Smart Guard, which was selected as the product with an outstanding information protection solution, enables safe and quick implementation to the work environment with the modules. API, filter, kernel hybrid, suitable for server environments that store various unstructured data, recorded files, voices, CCTV images, electronic documents, contracts. Also, personal information is protected without additional decryption by using encryption visualization, partial image encryption, and encryption key lifecycle, making it easier for the staff to use. The staff from LH said we have various modules suitable for the big data platform environment and they can be applied to various files and system logs by connecting to the big data platform. Since we are able to provide outstanding performance and convenience, we were selected to provide the unstructured data encryption solution in this big data platform implementation project. For a third big story, Pangyo to ease regulations on outdoor advertising, anticipating to become the second COEX. Songnam Shi has recently designated Pangyo Techno Valley as a special game and content zone, and it is attracting attention as it will greatly loosen regulations on outdoor advertising to the level of the free display zone at COEX. So far, the central and local governments had feared that it could harm the city and street landscapes if there were no restrictions on outdoor advertisements. Because of this, many restrictions have been imposed on the size and installation location of outdoor advertisements. Now, if you look globally, areas such as Times Square in New York and Piccadilly Circus in London have removed restrictions on outdoor advertising. As a result, outdoor advertising has become iconic in these cities, even helping to enhance their images as international tourist destinations. Last month, Songnam Shi designated the first and second Pangyo Techno Valley and the 1.1 million square meters around the Kins Tower as Songnam Pangyo Game and Content Special Zone. By next year, the Pangyo Content Street will be created in the Pangyo Techno Valley Square, taking up about 750 meters from the Samhwan Hypex to the Nexon building and an eSports stadium with a total of 450 seats will be built on the west side of the street by the end of 2023. 
Chu Guang Ho, a director in Songnam Si, explained currently there are many restrictions on the area and labeling when installing outdoor advertisements. So, but by designating this area a special zone, we can get around them. Songnam Si put in an order for service to find an action plan to actively install outdoor advertisements. The service will set up a basic plan for digital outdoor advertisements to ease regulations and revise Songnam Si ordinances or Gyeonggi-do public notices for this purpose. Next up, Dronebot and AI partnership between Gyeonggi-do and South Korean Army. Gyeonggi-do and South Korea's Army forged a partnership to promote Dronebot and AI technology for innovation and growth of the provinces, companies, and development of science and technology for the Army. Gyeonggi-do Governor Lee Jae-myung and General Nam Yong-shin, Chief of Staff of the Republic of Korea Army, held the business agreement ceremony on June 7th at the Gyeonggi Center for Creative Economy and Innovation in Pangyo, South Korea. The governor said this agreement is a great opportunity which will significantly contribute to strengthening the military security capacity and boosting technological development of the private sector. Following the agreement, Gyeonggi-do will support the operation of the Army's AI Collaboration Center in the Pangyo Startup Campus. Companies in the region will participate in the Army's Drumbot and AI projects, and the Army will join Gyeonggi-do's projects for establishing AI technology clusters and conducting tests for real-life AI applications. And finally, let's wrap it up with some short bits of news. Janssen's leftover vaccine to be reserved for the elderly first. The elderly will be given priority to receive the leftover COVID vaccines from the Janssen supply delivered by the U.S. military. However, the general public can also make reservations for the leftover vaccines by using social network services such as Naver or Kakao. Next, investment in promising startups in Gyeonggi-do. MSS Gyeonggi will cooperate with Gyeonggi CCEI and Suwon University to hold the third startup 815IR in materials, parts, equipment, and manufacturing on June 30th. And for our final story of the day, Samsung Heavy Industries wins massive container ship order. Samsung Heavy Industries announced on June 1st that it had won an order for four large container ships worth 529 billion won from purchasers in Asia. I'm Alex Sigurds from Pangyo Techno Valley Weekly News. We will see you next week to keep you updated on all the recent tech updates from Pangyo, South Korea.